Hi, I'm Naomi. I'm creative director at The Hippie Shake, and today we partnered with Cut and Run Hair, and we're recreating four iconic looks from the icons from the 70s. So we start with their hair, down to their makeup, and all the way down to their clothes, recreating the whole look. I'm David Moore from Cut and Run Hair Salon. I'm Tara Moore from Cut and Run Hair Salon, and today we did four iconic hairstyles from the 70s. Hi, I'm Danielle and I'm the makeup artist who created the looks on our beautiful 70s icons today. So today my job is styling, so I'll be looking after all their iconic looks and what makes it key to them. So our first look was um, David Bowie, which is obviously a really fun one to start with. We had an amazing Izzy, um, and we basically transformed her into Bowie by using our Ramble On Gold jumpsuit, which is so iconic um, and so perfect for Bowie, um, which has like, got metallic details all over it, and it's beautiful. But we wanted to um, give a nod to Bowie's tailoring, so we basically put over a vintage blazer over the top, which had such a nice silhouette. And then we finished with it with a vintage scarf, which we actually tied as a tie. Um, some iconic red glasses and our platform Suzy Q boots which finished off the look perfectly. The most prominent part of that look was obviously the very blue eyeshadow which was very typically Bowie. So the main way we created this look was by using two different metallic blues using the lighter on the outer edge moving into a darker blue in the middle to create more of a halo eye we dyed our hair red and we went really cropped on the top and had it nice and long. Um, it gives that kind of short and long androgynous look. Yeah, it's a real, it's like quite a classic mullet shape. Yeah, it's really strong and striking mm. as well. Works really well. And we went um, super bright. With the red. It's, yeah, it's the Bowie, it's it's the, um, the Ziggy Stardust um, sort of Inspired. Bowie. Inspired, yeah. Debbie Harry is obviously the queen of rock and roll, so this one was a really fun look and very different to what we'd usually style. Um, so for Debbie Harry, we styled a vintage black shirt, which has this amazing like mouth print all over it, which is so unusual and rare. Um, we popped it with our Like a Rolling Stone flared trousers, which looked awesome with the shirt. Um, and then obviously she was very into wearing like a leather vest, so we found this amazing 70s red cropped vest, which we popped over the top. Um, and then we had accessories wise, obviously she wore like a lot of chunky accessories. So we put a gold chain, which is like long and simple, but then we styled it with like a really big white chunky belt um, and then some velvet boots. So the next look we did was Debbie Harry, the iconic blondie. With that, we wanted to keep the look quite authentic to her signature look. So we did a smoky winged out shadow and a red metallic lip. With this, we made sure that we made the lip super metallic by pressing a raspberry colored metallic eyeshadow on top of a matte red lip, just so we could get that 70s metallic sheen without having to mix loads of different colors. So we did a full head bleach for um, for Poppy the model, and we kept it like a really real. raw kind of seventies style. I mean, Debbie Harry has that really like almost done it yourself like look, you know. And also, we we dyed the under parts darker, just like the like two tone, of, yeah, Debbie look. <laughs> The dark parts, like the dark pieces, they kind of pop out from underneath and just like flow yeah. really, really well. With it. Also, that overgrown fringe, like just almost completely covering the eyes. Mm.
of course, uh, we couldn't be doing uh, a, a Stoke Newington hair salon photo shoot without incorporating Stoke Newington's own finest Mark Bowen. Just right around the corner, he grew up. And instantly we thought of Ryan. Yeah, well, her hair's perfect. It's just like, you you don't have to do much at all. We just cut it to that that really kind of round, shaggy 70s shape and just put as much volume as possible in it just to make it super big and wild and rock and roll. For Mark Bolan, we decided that we weren't going to use actual glitter as it can be tricky to use at home and it can be very messy. So we thought we'd put a bit more of a modern twist on it by using crystals as opposed to the glitter drop down. We just did a natural skin, a little bit of a smoky eye, very grunge, easy, quick to do. Then we added simple craft crystals. You can get these from any hobby store on the internet. We used a tiny amount of lash glue and then we simply just pressed the crystals on and that was the look. I started with the metallics because obviously he was very good at mixing metallics but then like really good jewel tones so like the greens the pinks and the reds together but obviously he was all about the collar as well so like making sure that big lapel like was on show so we started with a vintage um, striped top which is like a metallic one um, some gold um, lurex trousers and um, we layered over the top our marsha green blouse um, and then with like a long gold necklace then I think the key look for this was the um, vintage stripe blazer which was like amazing had amazing collar we layered this over the top and then we finished it with a red feather boa just for extra drama our cloud genevieve boots a chain around the waist as a belt but then also tying our cloud scarf to tie in the cloud print um, and then finally we went with like some iconic big oversized shades because you know like he obviously loved to create the drama and um, was always very eccentric with his dressing So Joan Jet was the last one we styled and this one was so good because it was very like relaxed and very different to what we usually do. Um, so we started off, obviously a key look for her is all about the denim flare and the denim trouser. Um, she's very laid back in her style, it's all about like, her cool effortless, like the way she is. Um, obviously that amazing hair and like that killer look, it's just she carried it off so well. Um, so we popped her, um, her in our Peace Love and Flower Power Ringer Tea. Um, which we popped with vintage flares, which these are such a good cut. They have like such amazing seam detail. Loads of star necklaces layered up um, with a black velvet necktie just for add a bit of rock and roll. Um, and then we found this amazing red leather 70s jacket, which we popped over the top for layering. Um, and we think this finished the look off perfectly. Um, and then we popped it because she's obviously got such a laid back style, um, like a flat black cowboy boot. Um, and then like for an added bit, of like hardness to the outfit we popped like on a metal black concho belt which I think finished it off really well. For Joan Jet, we wanted to go real rock and roll 70s icon so for that we used a gel liner, whacked it on and buffed it in. Joan Jett was a complete rock chick and did not have time to be sat there with a precision liner brush so you can be as messy as you want with this. To tie it all together we used a red tone eyeshadow and buffed that through the crease just to give it a little bit of a modern twist and tie in that messy look together. Joan Jett, yeah, I mean that was a really fun cut to do. Um, just went really, really close all around the face, just really framing it, uh, just really chopped and shattered as much layers as possible to get as much, like, wild volume, um, still kept a bit of the length, 
and then we dyed our hair black. It actually is amazing how much it doubles in thickness when you dye someone's yeah. hair black. Yeah, it looks big and full and thick. Yeah. And rock and roll. But it, um, but yeah, it works so well. And those short, like, shag mark kind of layers that you did. Yeah. No, it was perfect. She rocked it so perfectly. It was like perfect hair Green for forward, her. heavy. She was Joan Jett. It was so natural for us to go, all right, well, rock and roll, obviously, the icons, uh, the classics, and the, the haircuts that inspire us on a daily basis anyways. So we were so pleased with how today turned out. Like, it was actually crazy seeing how we recreated the icons. Like, when you looked away and looked back at the girls, like, it was like they were actually there and like reincarnated in, in their looks today. So we hope you loved it too. Um, you can shop some of the, the looks that we're featured today um, and any pieces that I mentioned on the Hippie Shake, but obviously Pop, are linked below so you can shop them and recreate your own looks at home.